Although the polar transport of auxin occurs in both the sunlight and the shade, the auxin only begins to bind to the protein in the shade. When the plant's auxin is exposed to light, it is deactivated. As the boot kicks the ball to start its movement, the shade is vital to kickstart the process of reception of auxin molecules. Auxin is transported from the plant tip down to the roots. This process is called polar transport because it only travels in one direction. It can't travel up the plant. Auxin movement is not affected by gravity. It is moved from cell to cell by auxin transporters. In the same way that the ball moves back and forth across the zigzag, the auxin is transported from cell to cell. Next, the auxin binds to the TIR1 protein of the F-box protein. As the auxin binds to a receptor, it activates a secondary messenger, in this case it's the red tub, and it stimulates the production of ATP through proton pumps and turns on the special auxin-regulated genes that produce growth proteins. This process also helps with the growth of the plant. As the auxin binds to the receptor, the messenger protein activates proton pumps, shown here by the red tub. The pumps create a low pH environment inside the cell. Specific enzymes can now work in this low pH environment created by the proton pumps. These enzymes loosen the cell wall by breaking hydrogen bonds. As a result of the breaking of crosslinks in the cell wall, increased ion uptake occurs. This increased ion uptake causes osmotic uptake of water and increased turgor. The resulting increased cell wall plasticity causes cell elongation. The cell wall loosening generates a reduced water potential, which allows for water uptake and volumetric expansion of the cell.